Hi guys. Uh, just out this evening herding the cattle at home. I could do every evening. Um, I'm not long in the door myself, so I'd like to thank each and every one of you for sticking with me the last couple of weeks, even though there hasn't been much uploaded. But don't don't worry, there will be more videos coming up shortly. There's there is one video in particular I'm kinda of working on and I can't really put it up to this all together. It'd make more sense that way. And uh yeah, then I hope to be Hopefully next week there will be another video up. And there's a video I've been working on with for the last week you can say. And I just want to put the final touches to it and get it edited and put it together. So you will you know you'll you you you'll find the interest as such. Um but another another work here now. Just here out looking at the cattle, checking the grass and all and as you can see. There's great great core grass in the ground. Um like a lot of people will probably find it's too strong for cattle, but that's that's what we have here. And you see now in a minute I'll try up here when we got the cattle first. I you probably yeah, I did say it before, they paddocked off the bit next to the house. So the cat till the cattle get used to us and gets used to a few nuts. Like we're not feeding them property for the winter. We're just giving them a few nuts to keep them quiet. The only time we want to get them in, just go a bucket of nuts, rattle the bucket, they'll hear the nuts and they'll come running. And uh, yeah. But like it was, as soon as I came out here earlier on, well, say earlier on about ten minutes ago, the side of the field down beside the house there. Uh now it's not it's not fit to cut now for another few weeks. And we've more silage going up the road from the house and we're in the glass, so that can't be cut till July. So look, it'll all be cut together and yeah, there will be videos of that now later on. And uh, see what other videos of silage and tillage and all that I can get up before that. Um yeah, I should be able. And see how things go. But yeah, the here's a good example here now that I'm going to show you in a second. The where when they had a paddock at the house grazed. I was there a paddock, it's, there's an 8 acre field, the field you see in rolling. I put an electric fence down to the middle of it, and the far half of that side, I'll show you now in a minute, is for silage, and down next to the road was for grazing. And that, did that graze now, and I have a kind of a pathway going down through it, where they can still come down to the shed, get their few nuts, um, and come back into these inside fields. Like, like it's given the field there a chance to come on that was grazed and I had a section of this field I'm in now fenced off as well so you see kind of you see what way the grass situation is um, like I hadn't they hadn't a huge area here but I had between here and the house I had a good good swipe of land to uh, graze down but yeah I'm going to show you now the difference in I was paddocked off and what they are grazing now and the cattle are up there just over the hill you're going to see the hill now in a second as well and you get a, I'll show you the cattle as well and let you think how they're after coming on since we got them and uh, whatever so guys as you can see this here is what was grazed and if you look around here that's where I had the electric fence coming down that's the drinking trough up there the, the other side of that is the field of the house. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, the way I have that done. And what way the side of the ground is coming on. But yeah, like along there you can see that line. That's where I had electric fence. Going around for them. And um, like you can see this here is well grazed. The field of the house is the very same as that now. But this is the grass now they're in on. Uh, I know a lot of you would say that's too strong for them. Too heavy for them or whatever. But look, there's 20 cattle, you can see them there in the background. And it'll keep them going for the year. And what I'll do is, when they have, just said uh, this field that, let down. Like they have another field there, another field in behind that again, you can kind of see the gap there. And then there's another smaller field over to the left. And, uh, like as corn as they graze it, like after a month or two, 
depends what way they do it. Like last year, the cattle had last year, like the greatest. So they're very inside field first. Whatever it is with that field, they love that field first. And then they kind of moved around themselves. They didn't need to put up any electric fences or anything to keep them in a certain field. But as soon as I had the grass down, I'd give it about a week to come on a bit. And then i top it. And after that, then the fresh ground, fresh green grass, come on. But yeah, as you can see here now, this is the grass we have. Like there's a great, very, very good court in the grass there, as you can see. And walking down here now is the cattle. Like, of course, there's a few limousines in it, and a lot of you know what limousines are like. They, they don't like to be approached. But I can guarantee when I turn and walk away and head back down for the house, they'll follow me. And uh, one of up there, he must have fell out with the rest of them. But, of course, you can see there, the limousine straight away, running away from me. But yeah, this is how they're doing now. And uh, this grass will keep them going very well throughout the year. Like you can see, there's not a bother in them cattle there. They're happy enough. You can see now how quiet they are. Like they're not running away or nothing. And uh, I'd love to have got drone footage of of these cattle and you know, just fly over so you can see kind of the swipe of land we have for them. But just the last minute idea to do this video. And the reason why I've done this video, just give me one second now. The reason why I've done this video now is because you know, I was out looking at the cattle and just as walking up the field of the house, kind of looked over onto the side of the, side of the ground and I seen a lovely sized deer walking up along the ditch. Like all I had was a phone on me, so got a bit of footage. Quality might be the best now, but it's always interesting. Like, yeah, there is a lot of forestry now around the back of my, back of my house there. Uh, some of the drone footage might have showed that before. Like, if you want to look back through the videos or whatever, you'll see the forestry area. And, um, like, you've land each side of it. Like, you have our side of the field, this side of it. And then behind that, there was a side that was done now today. Um, and, of course, the noise made the machine and everyone to push the deer kind of over to our side of the forestry. Vice versa, like when we were doing our side of the deer kind of move over the other side, away from the noise. But, yeah, it's always interesting to see that because there is a lot of deer in that forestry. And, look at the people out there probably, like living in towns and that, you know, that that hear of people saying about the deer running around fields and that, and they mightn't, get, mightn't see them themselves. But like I know this way, it's a kind of a rubbishy video of it, because it's only the phone, as I said, and I tried zooming in best I could, but look, it is what it is. Um, yeah, and look, the grand change in the weather too. Like this time last week, or even a week and a half ago, we were getting washed out of it. A lot of rain fell and just, Pure disaster. People were, there was a lot of farmers out there wondering what story was going to be with grass. And the last couple of days now, it has been superb weather. Um, a lot of lads are panicking now, in fairness. They want to get silage more, the silage done before the weather decides to break again, which it's Ireland. It could break anytime. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of silage after the move now the last couple of days. And there's even a contractor there. Near me, he even hired in extra harvesters and extra traders to keep up with the work he had in front of him before this rain comes. And I get no footage of, of him working it. 
and I'm not going to mention any names of who it is, but yeah, he had like he usually has a couple of trailers of his own, harvester of his own, and all that. But the, there was that much of a workload in front of him. He hired in extra harvesters and extra trailers just to catch up with everything. And I like I drove by today where he was working, and it looked looked like something to see over America. All the harvesters together and trailers working side by side. But that's that's how it is when someone comes out. Every farmer panics at once. But that's the way it is. Nothing you can do about that. So guys, as you can see, from the rolling video, this is the field. Um, goes right down there to the road. And that's the hill there. And there's all the forest behind it. It was along that ditch there now. The deer was walking up and down. Good sized deer it was too, so look. I'm going to insert the video, the couple of seconds video I got of of him, and look, I just thought it was interesting. But yeah, this now here is the silage ground. See there, we've electric fence going down there, keeping the cattle off it, and the cattle go out there to through the drinking trough and out to the next next field where I just showed you. And then it goes all the way down there, electric fence down to the house. Like when we got the cattle first, as I said, we had them fenced over on this side. And they have that very well grazed, as you can see. But we have a fence off there now to get the come on for grazing there on there if we need it. And you can see here now we have electric fence going down to the house as well. And this is the kind of pathway to have. All the way up there, up to the drinking trough. I don't know why it's out of focus. Up there to the drinking trough, and they go out into the rest of the land we have out the back. And that's just, as I said, it's going to be a couple of weeks before the side of the ground is ready, as you can see. It's, it's coming on okay, but the way the weather has been recently, it's, it's as good as can be expected. And like over there now, that's that will be grazed again there on there. And we'll see how it comes on. But yeah. That's kind of it now. As you can see it's kind of getting a bit dark in itself now. Like it is it's around ten o'clock now when I recording this. Um yeah. So that's it for this video. So guys, I know it wasn't much information in this video, I was just kind of giving you a kind of show around of the way the side of the ground is coming on, the situation with the cattle and the grass, and kind of the way I have things set up here with the, what was grazed already, and the kind of the pathway I have here for them going up down to the sheds, and they go back out to the field to graze whenever they want. Um, yeah, that's basically it, so I'm going to leave it at that guys. And there is more videos coming up. They will come up shortly. I can't say what they are yet because I could tell you what the next video is, but there could be a problem and a different video could go up. So I'm gonna leave it. Leave it by saying there is more videos coming guys, they are coming shortly. And I really appreciate you for sticking with me the last couple of weeks, even though it wasn't uploading nothing. I have videos in the works and I'm gonna get them together. Just to kind of finish them off on um, what we're doing and yeah that's basically it because if you put them up now the way they are then a week or two later but at the end of the video it won't make sense to you so i'm going to kind of do a start to finish video on what we're doing and you'll understand when they go up so yeah guys i'm gonna leave it at that now anyway and once again thanks again i really appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to my channel each and every one of you comment as i said before 
all the comments and they mean a lot. It shows people are watching the videos and it shows people want to find out more information. So yeah, guys, leave it at that now this time. Definitely leaving it at that. So if you like what you've seen, hit the thumbs up button, give it a like, share the video with people, tell people about the videos. If you like them, tell people about the videos, get them over watching them, get them to hit that subscribe button, get them to like the videos and the whole lot. And don't forget guys, Anthony wants to know. If there are any questions you have, any comments you have on what I'm doing here, you know yourselves, put in the comment section below. And guys, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks guys.